someone is ready to have his paws washed. Oh my goodness, look how much dirt he brings back. We're out of dog shampoo. So on the way back home, I saw this boy um, with such a cool hairstyle. So the top of his hair, uh, on top of the head, was braided, almost like a Viking style, and. Um, the very end of the braid was bright blue color and he was just you know crushing icy puddles with two girls you know a kid with like a, a creative hairstyle not afraid to express himself that never happened in my school years no one was that brave i wanted to tell him how cool his hairstyle is because I walked by them, but I didn't, and now I regret it. So Yama's lesson one, always say how you feel, because if you don't, you might regret it after. Okay, mister, you're good to go. <laughs> My little samurai is having his food. Do you want a cookie? Do you want a cookie? I'm so sad. I'm going to play him again, I'm so sad. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. No. Gold, gold, gorgeous. So on the way home, we stopped at a grocery shop and I picked up two things for my breakfast, my favorite mayo and some spinach. So let's get an egg. Let's also get one of the ginger shots. Almond milk for coffee. You know what? I think I'm gonna have two eggs. I'm very hungry. Um, okay. Apple cider vinegar. A little bit of salt. And I'm gonna let the bring the water to the boil and in the meantime I'm gonna unload the dishwasher Alexa play Sam Smith, Smith Spotify. Alexa volume 3 Okay, so the water is boiling. Now what I do is I make 
a whirlpool, water and crack the egg really gently. And do the same with another egg. So eggs are in and now I will lower the heat and let them cook for about five minutes. I like them to be runny on the inside. And now coffee time, coffee time. You guys know the jazz, but I guess some of you still wanna see this. Smells so good. First coffee of the day. <laughs> so now I'm gonna wash my spinach. I always buy this spinach from Tasty Home. Uh, if you live alone, that's a tip because all the other uh, spinach or rocket, whatever I buy they come in these massive plastic bags and there's so much that i'm you know living on my own i'm not capable to eat it all so this is a very reasonably sized uh, amount it's 70 grams of spinach and it's perfect for me it pretty much never um goes bad or soggy like i'm able to eat it all And some radish as well. Get my eggs out now. Dry them with a paper towel. They look like perfectly poached eggs. So then I add mayo and then I slice the radish on top. And the last step is pepper. Voila! From my new plate, I'm gonna eat all of this by myself. All by myself. Ah, too much. By the way, hi guys. I didn't say a proper hello to you today. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna tuck into my breakfast and then I'm buying a Christmas tree today or renting, I don't know yet because there's an option to actually rent a Christmas tree from um, Botanical Garden. Um, so it's like in a, in a big pot and then when you turn it, you get half of your money back. Um, in other places you can buy a Christmas tree in a pot so maybe you can plant it in your own garden So I don't know I have to decide on what I want to do what type I want to get but definitely a real tree not a fake plastic tree um, So yeah, that's gonna be my mission of the day and I'm gonna decorate it but all my decorations and the stand if I buy one that's not in the pot is actually at my parents house so I'll have to go back home, pick everything up and then come back and decorate. I'm gonna show you some more decorations. Um, so yeah, but now I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat. This chair is so creaky. <laughs> um, so finish my breakfast, let's get to my calendars. Let's do the, or calendar, because I only have one this year. Um, yesterday I got this lip balm, so that was day number two. It's the tiniest lip balm ever. It is quite nice. Feels nice. Um, so let's do day number three. 
And this. <gasps> oh my god, it's a rose scented hand cream. So I love L'Occitane hand creams. And I love rose scents. It's so beautiful. I love it. Hopefully it will smell great. Oh my god. And I just actually looked at my hands thinking I need to apply some hand cream. Because, you know, it's cold outside and your hands get dry so quickly. Oh wow. And now let's get a quality street. So I don't know if you'll notice that, but the box is actually significantly emptier because I couldn't, I ate maybe 10 of them yesterday and the day before yesterday. Mm, I just cannot resist, they're all incredibly delicious. So today I'm gonna have coconut eclair, which is another of my favorites. It's like a gooey coconutty filling um, and it's milk chocolate. It's almost like bounty, but not really. It's more chewy, this one, and less spicy. One for now, and like five more in the evening. Now I have to, where's my computer? I have to get on top of my emails because my inbox is bursting. And then I have a ton of thoughts and I wanted to start um, writing everything down to a notebook. So I really want to get a moleskin. I was looking for notebooks at home and I found this one from Woof, which is cute. Uh, I had a collaboration with them. Um, so yeah, it's just like simple lines. So I'm gonna write my thoughts down. I think it might take about an hour. Um, and I kind of want to do that every day or just what I have lots in my head just jotting down your thoughts and emptying your head i think it's pretty good um but yeah i want to get a big mole skin so i'm gonna look for mole skins online also need to shoot some pictures with la coffee and announce the giveaway which a lot of you guys are looking forward to so yeah gonna get cracking i played the blue while away it is while away it is for two I'm done I've got the pictures this is all the coffee you are going to win um in the giveaway actually three different people will win this amount of coffee let's have a ginger shot and then i will go to the botanical garden of clevelas university to look for a christmas tree so let's do this my mouth is on fire hopefully i won't get sick in december thanks to these they are so potent. We'll go have a look at the trees and then I will pop over to my parents to pick up all my Christmas decorations and we might end up watching TV series or a movie together tonight. I've done all my work, sent out all the pictures for approval, answered the emails. I'm ready to go with my super warm hat from <laughs> Zara. Um, the jacket is Bershka, bag is Mango, scarf is Mooncat, but the brand doesn't exist anymore. My sweatpants and I'll wear sneakers. Now I've got to put the leash on Dorian and off I go. She did. He has his little light on. Okay, this is my first stop. I'm looking for a tree. Mm, don't like these ones, they're too small. Let's have a look at these. Ooh. 
what? 45 euros? How about now? I'm in Hermitages and I actually don't need any Christmas bubbles, but they are so pretty. I know I won't be able to resist. Ended up at a plant section. I really want to get these because they purify air. They're all so beautiful. Oh my god, look at this. I want all these plants, but I know that I will kill them. Like, whatever I try, I will kill them. Choosing a tree now. Tree. I just came back home with my Christmas tree and I left Dorian home alone for a few hours and he's so excited. He's so excited. I'm gonna take him out for a walk and then <laughs> we'll come back and decorate. <laughs> Off we go. I actually forgot to get a hook for the wreath gonna get it next time but now the question is where do I put my tree here I have all my decorations I didn't buy any new decorations I have a lot of them already anyway okay so I'm struggling a little bit with my tree I had to cut off this branch <laughs> as you can see I don't have any tools I don't have a toolkit I asked for it for Christmas now it was throwing my tree off balance this branch here and also yeah it it just was falling on one side so we'll see what I'm doing is I'm actually using my beautiful kitchen knife to cut it off which isn't ideal I did it the tree looks even now so the big reveal let's remove the plastic now isn't it just so beautiful it was actually the first tree that the lady showed me so I, uh, I was choosing I said I love this one but I'll have a look at the other ones and nothing compared this one was my favorite it is actually really big the trees always look way smaller outside when you Take them back home, it's like massive. Ah, please don't fall. Uh, maybe it's better this way.
Кайся, кайся, мужик. I'm back home, guys, from my parents. Um, we watched Homefront with uh, Jason Statham, James Franco, Winona Ryder, Kate Bosworth. So a bunch of amazing actors, but the movie was so boring. I felt really sleepy watching it. Um, I guess I'm just not the biggest fan of action movies. And it's just, I don't know, I don't like movies that don't, teach you or don't tell you something it's yes it is entertainment Some, sometimes you need that as well but it's just like a sort of movie that you after, right after watching you forget about it useless movies um so yeah On the way home i got some groceries i'm gonna show you i got a few things that i will cook tomorrow for lunch also want to show you christmas wreaths wreath wreaths can't pronounce that, that my friend Christina and I made um, over the weekend and I'm gonna insert footage that I filmed, just a few clips of us making them. We had such a good time, very cozy evening uh, making those wreaths, it was a lot of fun, it was my our first time actually making them so and I think they turned out really nice, um, we made them out of everything that we found um, around us in nature. I made one for my door and one for the table and in the intro of vlogmas you can see me pretend hanging the wreath on my door but I don't know how to hang it. I need to buy a hook or something. So Kristen and I are making Christmas wreaths um, tonight. I cannot pronounce that word. Wreath, wreath, wreaths. Um, so here's our layout. There she You wanna be on camera? It's okay. Here she is. Uh, it's so cozy in here. And um, this is our selection of what we can use. And this is from the fields and like my grand's and mom's garden, the things I picked up. Christina went to the seaside to pick up um, some things today as well. So yeah. We'll have a nice cozy evening making beautiful things, hopefully. Oh, and we have some more here. So we have done our bases. I don't know what you would call this, but we'll start adding the rest of the stuff. <laughs> so pretty. Kristen is almost done with her wreath. One. <laughs> One of the three. <laughs> Two more to go. Yeah. This is mine. Um, not fully finished yet. I also want to put a bow on it. This is a falling asleep sofa for me. If I lay down and close my eyes here, I'm gonna fall asleep. I, I cannot tell you how many times I woke up at like 3 or 5 in the morning like thinking, oh my god, where am I? What year it is? What's my name? And then I realized I'm sleeping. I fell asleep with my makeup on, my clothes on, light on, on my sofa. And I had to go wash my face and go to bed. So all I want to do is have a bowl of cinnamonies, uh, do a little bit more writing, pour my thoughts onto a piece of paper, my notebook, <laughs> and then go to sleep. Okay, so I place my camera here. Hopefully you'll be able to see. I have this basket that has both of them inside. I'm gonna try not to ruin it. Ah, no! <gasps> Everything is on my sofa now. Anyway, this is what it looks like. Um, so it's sort of woodland themed. I wanted it to look very natural and organic and it has a bow on as well, which was Christina's idea. Everything is from ours and grandmother's garden. Um, so yeah, they're quite simple to make and very fun to make. You can get very creative. And to keep it alive, I'll need to spray some water on it. And then 
This one I made for the table. It's a much smaller one, so I'm gonna put it on my table and put a candle in the middle. Obviously, you have to be pretty careful with that. <laughs> not to burn it, not to set your house on fire. But yeah, how cute are they? I love them. And they smell amazing. They smell like wood. So, yep. Oh, the little berries uh, are already dead. Oh well, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? This is what my baby wreath on the table looks like. Cute, huh? I like it. Um, so now I'm gonna show you what I got grocery wise. They finally have clementines in all the shops. I will start feeling very Christmassy. So I got baby champignons for lunch tomorrow. Repurchased turkey breast and my favorite bread. Uh, Greek yogurt, some blueberries rice, um, a little pack of milk, curd with raspberries, raspberry jam, some chicken liver for Dorian and then this is what I'm gonna have for lunch tomorrow. So this is chicken, Turkish style. I, I believe it's new because I've never seen it before. It's already marinated and this looks so good here. One more clementine. So yeah, that's all I got. Apparently, these golden cinnaminis are exactly the same as golden grahams in the US, you guys told me. So that's some trivia for you. This is a European version. Gonna end this vlog here, guys. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in another one. Mwah.